Hey guys, what's up? Darcy here at Six Strings Nine Lives. Uh, back for another CD vinyl update. I uh, got a few vinyl here to show you, uh, a few CDs, and uh, and a couple of seven inch singles. Uh, I don't actively collect seven inch singles, but these ones I really wanted, so I picked them up. And I shouldn't say I don't. Uh, I mean, I do collect all the Iron Maiden uh, seven inch singles that they reissued there a few years back, and actually hoping they will reissue uh, their singles from 1990 on. That would be cool too. Anyways, I'll show you, uh, the first thing I'm gonna show you is the brand new release, uh, just out I think last Friday, from uh, Canada's own Annihilator, uh, Ballistic Sadistic, their 17th studio album. Um, there is Jeff Waters, and, and this lineup's been together for two albums, and I think um, at least two of these guys, the drummer and uh, the bass player Rich, had a little more input in this album. Um, you know, Jeff is does a lot of stuff himself, wears a lot of hats, does a great job. Uh, this is one of those kind of holographic covers, but it's probably not going to do it on here. Anyways, um, great album. I am I'm totally impressed with this. Uh, it uh, the only reason I took it out of the CD player is to show you on the video right now some cool artwork here. Um, there's the CD. And the other story with this, I saw this come on pre-order on Amazon, which I do use Amazon quite a bit. I live in a small city. There's there's very little, there's virtually no record shopping except for one small shop that, you know, I, I not a lot new comes in there uh, for me to check. And I don't get away a lot to a bigger city once in a while I do. Anyways, pre-orders on Amazon. Uh, originally saw this pre-order for a CD, $33. And I'm like, <clears throat> you know what? I'm just going to watch it, see what happens. And then I looked one day and it's down to $11. So right away, I just, uh, I pre-ordered it as quickly as possible. And uh, I wasn't going to get the vinyl either, but it went down to... It was like $21 Canadian, which is so cheap. Um, here's the vinyl. I'm actually not, I, I don't really collect Annihilator and vinyl. All mine are on CD, but I thought for $21, I'm gonna pick this up. Uh, I'm, I'm probably not even gonna open this one. I might uh, send it out, hang on to it for a while. Uh, we'll see. But uh, yeah, anyways, uh, the story behind those pre-orders is you always get the best price, you know how all that works. But uh, now, since this album was released, the CD is now went from eleven fifty to about twenty three fifty, and the vinyl has more than doubled. I think it's up to about forty three dollars. So, um, you know, if it's something that you really want, uh, pre order it. You're not charged until it's sent out to you, which is I do like that. I, I, I don't want to pay for something for and not have it for months and that money's tied up or whatever. Anyways, uh, sorry I babbled on there. My, that's my pre-order story for the year. Um, check this out. Uh, probably one of the best albums they've done for, for years. Um, not that any of their stuff is bad. I love Annihilator. Um, but this one, yeah, you might be seeing this at the end of the year for sure. Um, cool booklet with it too. Uh, lyrics, artwork, all like that. I don't think there's a band. The band photo's on the back of the CD. Anyways, um, let's move along here. Uh, another band, or another band. Uh, I do collect quite a bit of, um, or I try to anyways, music on vinyl. And when I see an Accept album being reissued on music on vinyl, I'm all over it. Um, this is a... a the latest one that's been reissued that's out, um, they have a live one coming out called A Staying A Life. I have pre-ordered that one too, but this one is Predator, very glossy. I'm gonna hold it sideways. Um, it's black, glossy. Um, actual cover looks like this. I pulled out the CD cover. So there, that's a little uh, less glossy for sure. So this is a 1996 release from Accept. It was their third um album with uh the reunion with uh udo on vocals not their best album um i i wouldn't recommend this to be a starting point uh if you're just getting into accept 
Uh, there's the back cover. Anyways, music on vinyl, fantastic job. There is the hype sticker. Yeah, if you're just getting into Accept, I, I still recommend albums like um, Balls to the Wall, Metal Heart, and my, my favorite from Accept. Will probably never change, that's Restless and Wild. Cool insert with that one. Hard to read, kind of white. Well, it is white. Um, anyways, always a good stock paper with music on vinyl. And I forget which, this. oh, this one's clear. I'm not the biggest fan of clear vinyl, but whatever. I'll take it. Uh, there it is. Uh, same on, <laughs> same logo on the both sides. I was going to say same vinyl on both sides. Yeah, obviously. Um, yeah, it's a decent album overall. Like I said, not their best. Um, actually, uh, Peter, the bass player, sings, I think, three songs on here. Um, drumming on here is by uh, Michael Carleone. Carleone. Um, at the time, um, and just prior to this, I'm sure, uh, Stefan Kaufman, the, the Accepts drummer, was having a lot of back issues. Uh, and you know he went on to play guitar with uh, the UDO band, which right after this album... Um, we saw um, Udo return to his band UDO and uh, crank out m more great albums for sure. Love that band too. Um, next up, brand new album from uh, Fresno, California's own Haunt. Uh, this is uh, their fifth release in three years. Uh, third um, full length al studio album. They also have two EPs. This one's called Mind Freeze. Uh, just, and this one is on um, Shadow Kingdom Records. What a job they do. I just love this matte finish. You can see here, there's no glare coming off here. And it just feels, it feels like quality. It feels like you, you know, you get your money's worth for sure. I uh, just love Haunt. Um, Kevin Wargod60, his channel, he, he got me onto these guys and I've really never looked back. I, I've picked up every release and, uh, really enjoy haunt um i don't buy every color like he does i mean he's he has like i said before he is the haunt superstore um and rightfully so they're a great band if you like that uh you know throwback 80s sound uh, i picked up the pinwheel uh colored vinyl i just thought it was the coolest out of the bunch uh logo's the same um i think they're what there's maybe like five different colors all together uh, Kevin was seeing a couple in the in the UK or something. Um, and then always a quality insert. Love their covers. Um, very nostalgic looking. Um, you know, it's maybe that less is more mentality too because um, there's lots on here, but it doesn't look super busy, um, if that makes any sense. Anyways, great album by Haunt. Uh, check out their new one. I also picked up the CD. Uh, I like to have this one in my in my truck while I'm cruising around or whatever. Um, hype sticker. Uh, Haunt is a rock and roll heavy metal band from California that has exploded onto the scene. Um, in just two years, the band is back with their third full length album. Uh, you know, for fans of uh, it says here. Ozzy, Thin Lizzy, Def Leppard, Iron Maiden, Metallica. Yeah, you probably hear a little bit of everything with Haunt, but they do have their own sound. I wouldn't uh, say they sound like this or that. Um, you know, and, and the mastermind behind this project is um, uh, Trevor William Church. Uh, just uh, knows what he's doing. Uh, definitely check out Haunt's new one, Mind Freeze. Another great album. Um, I also picked up and I missed out on these on their Bandcamp. Uh, I really wasn't familiar with how this Bandcamp all, all worked or whatever and what was available, you know. Um, but I, I, I missed out on these, but I managed to pick these up from a, a UK seller. Uh, very fast shipping, um, you know. Uh, anyways, the first one is uh, set the, the seven inch singles I was telling you about. This is a, a split single, Haunt, and, and the song is called Sea of Dreams. And on the, on the split, they split this one with uh, the band Seven Sisters. And that song is called The Crystal Temple. So 
some more cool artwork in both bands. Um, I don't know Seven Sisters that well, but I probably should check a little more of their stuff out. And these uh, singles come in little sleeves. And um, this one is actually a blue and white um, kind of, what would you call this? Just splattered vinyl, pretty cool. And then Seven Sisters on the B side or whatever side. And I also picked up the other one. <clears throat> this one is called uh, A Fool's Paradise. Um, I just thought these were too cool to pass up. And this one is a split with a band called Fortress. Not really familiar with Fortress, but I did spin this song. It was actually really good. Um, and yeah, I'm kind of a, like I said, I'm kind of a haunt fanatic now and uh, probably will pick up anything I can of theirs. And this one came on red. There we go. And then Fortress on the other side. And actually the Seven Sisters and Fortress were, you know, uh, very good songs too. Uh, definitely check out a little bit more of those guys. Uh, next up, I picked up two EPs from the, the Thrash Legends, German Thrash Legends, uh, Sodom. Uh, this one says it's from 2018, but it wasn't available till 2019. And then their new one was uh, released in 2019 and wasn't didn't arrive here in, well, I just got it like about four days ago in 2020. Anyways, the first one is called Partisan. Um, if you know Sodom, um, just part of the, uh, what were they called? Teutonic uh, Big Four uh, of German Thrash, along with Creator Destruction. Uh, Tankard, uh, not as much. Uh, I, I do enjoy uh, Creator uh, Destruction and Sodom a little more myself personally but if you're a tankard fan uh you know what go for it um this one's only three songs it is uh released on spv and this one sees the return of uh, uh frank blackfire on guitars again uh, and then you have tom and uh their drummers and yorkie and husky on drums I'm um, not that familiar with those guys or which albums they've been on. I mean, geez, uh, Sodom has had 16 or something studio albums. Uh, and I'll get into, uh, while well, they're releasing a new one, I picked up this new uh, EP. And, uh, oh, I forgot to tell you too. Yeah, this one has two new songs, Partisan, uh, uh, Conflagra Conflagration, and uh, Tried in Red, which is uh, their own song from uh, Agent Orange live version. And then, so this is the new one. And the lead off track says it's coming from their forthcoming album here in 2020. The song is called Genesis 19. Um, then we have two other new songs on here called uh, Down on Your Knees and Out on the Frontline Trench. Absolutely awesome, these three songs. And then um, there is a Agent Orange re-recorded, uh, re which is excellent. And then they have a one live track, <clears throat> which is, yeah, there okay. So anyway, sorry about that. Here is the uh, artwork and just kind of a little bit of a collage photo. And uh, yeah, it says right on the back, uh, the, only the first song, Genesis 19, from their forthcoming album, Genesis 19. Not sure of a release date on that, but if that song is any, any indication of uh, what the album's going to be like, we're going to be in for a treat. Um, you know, we saw a fantastic album from Destruction here in 2019, looking for some of the same from Sodom. Um, and, you know, a Creator coming out with a live album right away, too. Um, I have that one on pre-order. Forget what it's called or whatever, but and you know, hopefully a new studio album from Creator too. That would be cool. Um, next up, I got uh, I be kind of fell in love with this band here in um, in <clears throat> sorry later 2019, and I showed them in some pre just actually previous very uh, previous updates. Ram, 
Uh, absolutely love these guys. <clears throat> Six studio albums, an EP. Um, I think that's about all they have. But I picked up a couple on vinyl. Uh, Metal Blade Records, what a job they do. So I picked up um, Rod. This one is Ram Rod. This is uh, their album from 2017. Here's the back cover. Gatefold. Um, these guys are right up my alley. I, I'm a huge Judas Priest fan. Love Iron Maiden. Just love straight, forward, heavy metal. Um, it doesn't have to always be something special for me. Um, even though these guys, they're, they're not... If you say, okay, I, I've, I've already heard that because Judas Priest did it. Mm, not really. I, I think they, they, uh, they do a great job. Anyways, if you're liking these bands like Priest and Maiden and stuff, definitely check out Ram. So this one, like I said, uh, what was I saying? Actually, uh, Metal Blade, great job, great insert, thick card. Uh, there's the band shot, lyrics. Um, so half of this album is uh, kind of a like a, a concept. It's uh, Ramrod the Destroyer, and then it goes through uh, about five five songs that are that story and i think the first uh four songs are um just on the on their own uh go check out a song a couple songs here off this album uh, a throne at midnight absolutely love it and um gulag i think i'm pronouncing that right really cool awesome stuff i'll just quickly show you the vinyl and again, I said Metal Blade, what a job. They do these inserts that are so good. Just perfect. This one is on kind of transparent orange. Same on both sides. Happy to pick up more RAM for sure. And that one was actually, yeah, transparent orange. Um, number 77 out of 100. Um, let's read this here back with their fifth album the uh, the spearhead of Swedish heavy metal is back with their fifth album awesome um, out of all their albums so far that might be my least favorite to be honest with you not that it's a bad album but they just have so many good albums uh, you know and I, I show I don't mean so many they only have six studio albums but uh, you just really can't go wrong with these guys so I also picked up their newest one. This one is called A Throne Within. This was in my top 10 for uh, metal albums of uh, 2019. And for only discovering these guys through through videos and uh, specifically uh, a Cloudy Milder, uh, thank you for that. Um, definitely a great band. Here is the gatefold for that. And this one came with... Uh, Geez, I didn't. I don't know if I even knew this massive poster. Holy! Uh, I'll try to open this a little bit, anyways, because it's huge. Uh, and stuff like this. This just adds to the whole experience of picking up some of these albums when it when a label does something like that. So that's the whole uh, album cover plus. Uh, Kind of a a picture of each band member on the side so that's pretty cool i i don't even think i even saw that yes um and again metal blade great uh great inners and this one is called this is on a ochre ochre brown so what some shade of brown a little bit marbled um same on both sides so this is their sixth studio album like i said this is from 2019 uh, yeah, just just a great album. Uh, check out uh, oh, any song. Fang and Fur was one of my absolute favorite songs. Uh, Violence is Golden, Blades of Betrayal. Um, and this one is, like I said, on... There's how you pronounce that. Or read that. Ocre Brown, uh, Marbled Vinyl, number 74 of 100. So pretty good, whatever. Um, just glad to have a copy. It doesn't matter what number it is to me. Um, what else we got? One more item here, and this was uh, sent to me by a friend, and a, and a great, just just a good friend. Uh, met him through the comments section here on YouTube. Um, Paul, 
Uh, thank you very much for thinking about me and sending me. I'll, I'll show you this right away. But Paul is always watching. I see him commenting on lots of people's videos. Um, he he always lets you know about newer releases that are coming out too. Uh, you know, I mean, even this Annihilator, he told, I think he knew a month before anybody else knew, which was cool. Thanks, Paul. And just, like I said, thanks for the friendship. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for keeping this fun. Um, that's what I do it for. I don't, um, you know, it, it's a little hobby, but uh, again, just the, the people that I met. And Paul uh, said, I, I want to send you a, a Suicidal Angels album. Uh, they're a fantastic band. You need to get into these guys. Uh, he was basically kicking my ass to, you know, uh, get some of their stuff. And maybe he got fed up with me and said, ah, I'm going to send you one. And uh, here it is. This is uh, Division of Blood. It also has a DVD here. And I don't have a what do you call them, a region free DVD player or Blu-ray player. So um, I'll have to figure out, you know, uh, whether I should get one of those or so I can view this DVD. I do have some other DVDs that I I can't play either. Uh, some of the stuff that has come with uh, some of my other CDs, maybe it's from Germany or whatever. Uh, anyways, what a great album. Um, I spun this uh, three or four times in a row I, I had to uh, travel somewhere and it was about four hours in the vehicle so I definitely got uh, to listen to this quite a bit and there it is there's the CD and the DVD uh, if you don't know Suicidal Angels they're um, they've been around for a while uh, this is actually their seventh studio album and this is my first one on noise art records I I'm actually not even familiar with that label, but pretty cool. Great album. If you're familiar with bands like, um, well, a, a certain band came to mind right away when I listened to this, Exumer. Um, just just great thrash and uh, very happy to have this in the collection. Thanks again, Paul. I'll get you back. Um, I got a list of stuff that you might be interested in. And um, I will definitely be picking up some more Suicidal Angels. Oh, here we go right here. Um, here's an insert of some of their other albums. And on vinyl too. Pretty cool shirt, Division of Blood right there. Anyways, check out Suicidal Angels if you haven't already. Uh, sorry about taking up about uh, 23 or so minutes of your time. Uh, had a few things piling up that I wanted to uh, to show and, and get uh, put away and listen to a few times and then put away type of thing. So, and until next time, stay heavy.